Welcome into Caldwell County today. I'm Eric Stafford and I, we are here in the Caldwell Arts Council and we're talking about a show that's going on currently and it's of the CCC and TI Arts students and joining me here is their instructor. Your name, sir? Uh, my name's Thomas Thillman <laughs> and I'm the director of the program uh, uh, Associate of Fine Arts at Caldwell Community College and Technical Institute. Well, first off, how did, how did that happen? How did you get here? That's a long story. <laughs> And a pretty awesome one. Yeah, um, so us. we moved from downtown Atlanta to downtown Lenore uh, on Y2K, December wow. 31st, 1999. Um, and we moved here because the job that I have now was my wife's. Oh. So over the 20 years that we've been here, we switched roles, had a son, and um, I became the director of the program. Wow. Uh, before I was the director, I actually taught um, backpacking for 10 years through the college. So yeah. I was. Uh, two-thirds art faculty, one-third PE. Okay. And it's been uh, an awesome experience. Sweet. Now, I, I've heard a lot about you in the printmaking process because uh, you had a printmaking class here that you only well, did through the, the Arts Council. Yeah. So we taught uh, with Lindsay Barrett, um, and I taught an Natalia printmaking class. Um, <clears throat> Natalia is a process where uh, artists will inscribe or engrave uh, etching or marks into a, either a metal plate or an acrylic plate then we push ink into that etching and then run it through great pressure through a press and what what you get is um, some examples of the work in the show oh okay cool so that's that's good it's some of the stuff that's here tell me a little bit about each of the students that's featured here in the show so um the work is uh, from three students that were all in my advanced classes either printmaking two or painting two um, they're all very, very talented students, um, and I look forward to seeing the work they make as they graduate and move on to uh, higher institutions. <clears throat> um, uh, Cassandra Corsa um, is, is in painting too, and um, many of the paintings in the show are hers. She's an excellent painter uh, and <clears throat> did a lot of work over during the COVID break. Yeah. A lot of really good work. Um, recently graduated is uh, Haiti Dominguez Torres and we uh, she's awesome also they're all you know I can't say enough good stuff about them oh, yeah. um, very talented and I look forward to seeing what she does as she moves on to wherever she moves on to <laughs> and then finally Sarah Moore is a was a student at the early college yeah and that's how we got we met I think years ago in an art appreciation class and I uh, convinced her of the benefits of being an artist and so then now she's enrolled in our AFA program and has a semester left before she graduates. Oh wow. So, so. Uh, you've got one already graduated and then two coming through so. Correct. Wow. Wow. And and you can tell by the artwork uh, if, if you've definitely got to come and see the show it's crazy good the stuff that's here and I you wouldn't think a student show. I don't. I don't think a student show when I work at the look at the work. And I, I think that's one of the best compliments I can give to any student is when their work changes from you know that the student to the artist. Yeah. And you know it, and you can see it in the work, and they can see it in the work, and their peers can see it, and um, anyone can, can can come to the uh, Caldwell Arts Council and take a peek, and yeah. it's just really excellent work. And you get I get groups. They sort of come in clusters. It's weird how that works, but I'll get a group that's really good, and you know, I think it's because they're good, they influence each other. Yeah. And you know, they'll graduate, and then I'll have you know, a new little group that builds and pushes through, and you know, it's just a constant cycle. Wow. So it's a lot of fun to teach art. <laughs> <laughs> and see what develops, see what happens, and see their talent develop over that time. Yep. So it's really cool. So I think we're going to talk to some of the artists themselves and also look at some of their work. Awesome. Tell us a little bit about yourself, what's your name, and, 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 and which works are yours? Uh, my name is Cassandra Corsa. I'm 30 years old. Um, the works in here, I have a lot, actually. I have one that is a candy piece that is Jordan almonds. Everyone says they're jelly beans. Totally Jordan almonds. <laughs> um, I have a vegetable piece with, you know, like a squash, a cucumber, and a pepper. A tomato, which was actually in a composition, a competition, excuse me, recently. And 
Uh, I have a lot. <laughs> and the, 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 the hammer is probably my favorite. <laughs> the hammer is, is very colorful, and what really got me was how you made the translucentness of the, the screwdriver. screwdriver. <laughs> yeah, that was that I was, was tricky. I, was with that. I appreciate that. Yeah. It was very tricky. It was fun. But you know exactly what it is when you see it. So, I mean, <laughs> you, you know what it is. I promise I didn't start out that way. <laughs> <laughs> But that's, that's, it develops, it works. You, you, you I actually never out. painted until I took Tom's three-dimensional design class. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was my very first painting was in his well, class. Well, you must got to start somewhere. <laughs> you're obviously talented. Well, I appreciate that. That's very nice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it's 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 a beautiful piece of work, and uh, I I enjoyed the almonds as well. I thought they were really nice. And uh, <laughs> but there's a whole there's great artwork in here that you guys have done. Oh yeah, or you I, ladies have done. I said that kind of wrong. It's okay. <laughs> I still say dude, so it's fine. You still say dude. <laughs> yeah. So like, I I appreciate every piece that's in here. I, I would always be jealous over Haiti's work. Now she she she's crazy. But, <laughs> I could I could walk out here with every one of her paintings. Yeah. Sarah's now, got some great work up too. These prints are crazy. Now, did you guys like like Thomas was talking about? Did you guys kind of egg each other on or try to one up each other? I wouldn't say that. I think I just bugged them. Yeah. I probably just talked a lot. <laughs> Most people were quiet. There was there was a few clicks. There was a few people in Thomas Painting Two class that would that would keep asking me questions, you know, of how to do certain things and. I would try to give them advice. I mean, I'm not a teacher by no means, but you know, I would just try to help with what they asked. Yeah. But if they're asking I wouldn't you say for there's. Advice, you gotta tell them. Yeah, best I can anyway. I'm still a student, yeah. <laughs> but comp competing wise, no, I wouldn't say I tried to one up anybody. Oh, okay. Well, there was always I, when I was in art school, I always kind of felt like it wasn't that. It was like what Thomas was speaking about earlier. Is you kind of did it? Kind of did raise the bar, and who was in the room? You kind of did try to impress well, people. Well, actually, Haiti and Sarah, the other two artists, I've been in multiple classes with them. Oh, okay. Yeah, they've, I've pretty much followed half of my degree with Haiti. <laughs> and Sarah's been in quite a few of my classes, too, actually. Oh, <laughs> so, okay. yeah, we've, we've all been kind of a clique. Okay, well, that's cool. That's neat. And they'll all be here hanging together at the, at the Colwell Arts Council. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I'm probably the loudest one of everybody, but you know. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Nothing wrong with that. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. And really, guys, you got to come see the show and see the artwork. Come up to College Avenue here in town, downtown Lenore. Uh, the, the gallery is open. Come see it. Now, I'm here with one of the artists today, and her name is Haiti. Dominguez. Dominguez? Mm -hmm. And uh, tell me, we're, we're actually standing in front of Haiti's work, and uh, 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 tell me a little bit about what you like about art. How did you get involved in art? I actually started painting <laughs> when I was 15. My family saw that I was okay at drawing, so yeah. they encouraged me to start painting. So I took a few art classes with Charlie Fry. Oh, yeah. And that's how I started painting. Yeah. And I think I really enjoy painting. That's one of my favorite mediums. Oh, okay. Do you feel relaxed when you're doing it, or do you stress over it? How do you feel when but, you're working? Both. A little Some, bit both? <laughs> a little bit of both. Sometimes I feel relaxed, sometimes really stressed because I want to get everything right. Yeah. Now, do you listen to music while you're painting, or do you have to have it like totally quiet? Sometimes I listen to music, sometimes I just watch, watch a few shows. Because I don't like to be in a quiet place sometimes. <laughs> just, I, want, I want to have something else. Yeah, a little noise or something. Yeah. But uh, of, of all the pieces that you've done that are here at the show, what's your favorite? I think the fruit and the origami one. Yeah, the origami ones I really like. Now, is it charcoal or what is? It's painting. Oh, it, it, it yeah. is a painting? Acrylic paint. Oh, okay. So it's a black and white study of the... Yeah, kind of. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. We're here again with one of the artists from the CCC and TI show here at Caldwell Arts Council in downtown Lenore, and this is Miss Sarah Moore. And Sarah Moore, uh, uh, tell me a little bit about your art. How did you get involved in art? Um, well, I've really just been doing art ever since like I was younger, and I don't have like a specific type of art. I do like a variety of different types. I like painting, drawing, printmaking. 
so I'm pretty open to anything. Um, the artworks that I did do over here, um, they're my Zentangle series. And basically, Zentangle is intricate or simple patterns and designs. And you know, I scratched them in with a scribe on some uh, acrylic plate, and then I inked it, and then I printed it on the printing press. Yeah. Now, uh, so when, when you're looking at it, it almost looks like a drawing in itself, not necessarily a print to me, but I have old eyes. <laughs> but I, I was really amazed at it. I was thinking it was more of a, of a, a drawing, but you're, you're actually carving that out of that plate. Yeah, typically Zentangle art is usually done on like just drawing paper and you use like an ink pen or something like that. So I did something really different and did it on an acrylic plate, which you normally don't do. But, but they're really beautiful. I like, I like black and white artwork. I more, have more of a design mind in my, for some reason. But I really like that and I really like Zentangle number five because it's got a hexagon, hexagon shapes in it. Yeah, I think that's probably one of my favorite too. Yeah, but they're beautiful, beautiful pieces of artwork. And you, you got to come up here and see them and uh, see this show, the CCC and TI student show, which is up here at the Caldwell Arts Gallery. It runs through the end of the month. So come and see it before it's gone. Thank you so much and have a great day.